Well, the search is expected to resume today for that man presumed drowned by officials who say that he was swimming here around 930 last night with a friend on North Beach here in South Haven. We understand that call came in around 930 last night and he was swimming during rough water conditions. That call saying that a man was in distress during in that water. So as you continue to follow what's happening here in South Haven, we are told this is a particular area of Lake Michigan that's experiencing dangerous rip currents during this time. And it, it was uh, very choppy last night when the incident occurred. Officials say that red flags, they were flying when this happened with strong winds leading to five to six foot waves and police searched the water from the shoreline, also making use of a drone, but searching by water just wasn't possible because of the rough conditions. A Coast Guard helicopter and the Van Buren County Sheriff Marine and Dive Team also helping in the search efforts and the Great Lakes Surf Project, which is a nonprofit that tracks these tragic incidents, saying so far this year, 16 people have already drowned in Lake Michigan, reminding people to stay away from the water on red flag days. Now, there was also another man that we're told who was swept off the North Pier uh, over into the Black River, but thankfully there was a good Samaritan there to throw a rescue life ring into the water and retrieve him uh, before anything tragic took place. As for the initial victim, that search is expected to continue. Fox 17 will be on hand as this uh, search and rescue continues. For now, I'm Brody Carter reporting live in South Haven, Fox 17 News.